Rosanna Pancino was up at this time, late, late in the night. She popped into the stream and was going, I believe Bo Blacks would call this nutto. She consecutively posted, would post all of these chat messages talking about her feet pics being on wiki feet, talking about Keemstar and calling him Daddy Keemstar. We want to see Daddy Keem. Let's summon Keem. My yeah, talking about more feet. Where's your master Keem? I wanted to see Keemstar. Where's your daddy Keem? We want daddy Keem. The chat is there's so many messages of this. Uh, Rosanna Pancino and Dogpack have recently been completely having a breakdown and crashing out, and they've been spreading lies and misinformation about the commentary community. They've been spreading lies about Nick Diorio, spreading lies about anybody in this Tea Party group chat leaks, and completely have been having a meltdown after the information coming out that they misframed and they, uh, you know, dishonestly framed the context in which this work chat was where this apparent 13 year old Ivanka Trump was there. Um, so this was the craziest advancement that I saw. Uh, Rosanna Pancino decided to quote tweet real Zanny Berry's set Kane, which also went by the old name of N word stank on Twitter. Yes, this was a guy who came up around the similar time that Salvo was leaking the, all the Tea Party group chat leaks. And <laughs> Rosanna Pancino, 14 million sub YouTuber, quote tweets N-word stank and says, can confirm these chats are real. Keem and his gooner gain, which is, I guess, <clears throat> us or anybody in the Tea Party group chat leaks, which is, uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't make it on the, uh, actually, to my benefit, I didn't, I didn't make it on the flight logs, which is good. Um, Keem and his Gooner gang coordinate their attacks to try and take down anyone who speaks up against Mr. Beast and anyone they don't like. Uh, this is just not true. And this is not how anyone operates. Um, these people are really just trying to latch on to the fact that a whole bunch of like drama YouTubers in the same space were in a group chat together and trying to use this to discredit the entire community. And all of these people, all of their word, all their critiques are completely null and void because they were in a group chat together. Uh, this is just a desperate point to cling on to a uh, way to poison the well. But um, I got an apology from multiple of his minions last year when Keem told them I wasn't a liar. Now it appears he's telling them to attack me again. They do as he says. So she's just trying to spin the story, bullshit story to her audience. And funny enough, she uses fucking this unhinged doxer on Twitter as a source. <laughs> fucking N-word stank. That was this guy's name. Keemstar and Rosanna Pancino, you can't make this up. We must go cancel her. She must go. The entire Tea Party chats begins posting their tweets in the chat for Keem's approval. So what's being referenced here is some uh, group chat leaks from the Tea Party stuff, where this goes back to October of 2023, when, if you're wondering what happened in this month or so, this was when Rosanna was complaining about how she got third in the hide and seek competition, but Mr. Beast framed it as if she got fourth. This is where th this is where all of like the drama started. This is where Rosanna's vendetta came again, uh, came to uh, begin. This is her origin story for her vendetta against Mr. Beast because of this video about hide and seek. And as she was calling out Mr. Beast for this at the time, no one was on her side because obviously this is just a bullshit critique and no one really cared. Um, the only reason why this is now used to bolster any other arguments is because uh, Mr. Beast is at the uh, is at the end of a is at the bottom of a social dog pile. That's all here. But now uh, these chat messages are in reference to Keemstar saying we must cancel her for the most ridiculous thing in the future, like biting her nails in public and make her lose a million subs. She must go. So you know, <laughs> Keemstar is just saying crazy shits or whatever for the sake of trying to. Uh, I don't know. Just keeps her being inflammatory in this chat. Obviously, it doesn't mean must cancel her. It's just in a private chat displaying. This isn't a, a sending out an order for what other people should do. Everybody, nobody listens to Keem. Nobody's a lapdog to Keem. And you could do this research by finding out that Nick has been mentioned in the H3 content nuke. Uh, there is no Keem sweeping that's going on here. There's no attack dogs uh, aside from popular belief. So he's just talking inflammatory in this private chat um, of people disagreeing with her recent campaign to get Mr. Beast canceled for this fucking hide and seek drama. And that's all these show. But in addition to this, Dogpack, who has been pushing this narrative as well, <laughs> tweeting out the Tea Party group chat leaks. This guy's like th the main claim that is being had here is that 
The commentary community is conspiring. Look at these guys. They're disingenuously in a group chat together conspiring to, conspiring to take down Rosanna Pancino's name and to discredit anybody calling out Mr. Beast. But yeah, sure, they're in a group chat, but you're flying out to LA to meet up with them to do literally coordinated attacks. <laughs> like these are, how the fuck are you gonna call out the commentary community when you flew out to LA to do multiple collabs with the fucking gang? Jake Weddle, Dog Pack, Rosanna, multiple cases, multiple. Rosanna and Dog Pack, another video, another collab video right here. Rosanna and Dog Pack. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Pretty suspicious how drama YouTubers are in a group chat together conspiring much. You are fucking, you flew out to do this. Um, but where all this came from is that, yeah, you know, this almost feels like old news at this point, but where this recent uh, where this recent advancement came from is that Nick tweeted out, despite what Ro uh, Rosanna Pancino and Dog Pack and several articles have reported, the leaked Mr. Beast work chat filled with inappropriate messages was actually owned by Chris Tyson. The introductory message on the dates of the Telegram's group creation described it as a not safe for work meme chat, and the members of the chat clearly stated it was a non-company meme chat inside messages that went unreported. So this was the first, you know, level one of the story. Nick tweeted this out, which goes against the idea that this was a company work chat. You know what I mean? So this is this DM right here by Ava creating the group back in June 20th of 2019. I created this chat for not safe for work memes because the other people in the dumpster fire one are normies. Re. So this goes against any idea that this is a company chat. This is a work chat as well. This is another chat message saying that's work stuff. This is a non-company meme chat. Uh, so there's the context there. That was the first time. Uh, report, we reached out to Dogpack six hours prior to publishing this tweet and he didn't respond. Nick was tweeting him. Uh, Nick was DMing him. Bro, why did you guys say it was a work chat if it was started by Chris Tyson as a not safe work meme chat? And people in the chat referenced that it wasn't an official work chat. Just wondering if you were misled in some way and give you a chance to course correct before I post that publicly. Um... As well, following up, Rosanna and Dogpack posted misleading content with a false CP allegation and misinformation regarding the nature of the chat to make Mr. B's company appear worse. Because the thing that's important for whether or not this is a work or company chat, and I've been seeing people, you know, specifically Cam Nuggets to be debating this, it's that when it's a company and work official chat, it then makes the entire business liable. As opposed to if it's just a chat with people that you work together. There is obviously a huge difference. For example, if you have like a school discord server that's attached to somebody's university, um, that is a much bigger deal than you making another discord server with some of your classmates that you also uh, fucking go to that school with. There's a huge difference in liability here. Obviously, uh, it would be a much bigger deal if this was a company decided chat as opposed to just a chat with a bunch of coworkers that work with each other. You know what I mean? Um, so that was the, that was the main situation there that Nick first tweeted out. This drama alert tweets about this as well, which Rosanna sees this and she fires back actually giving important new context first. So Rosanna replies incorrect, uh, to this drama alert tweet. Multiple people from these chats have confirmed that they were work chats and they discussed work often. I've attached just a few examples with some insurance fraud as well. I honestly didn't think the Gooner gang, Keemstar and his attack puppies, would band together to defend pedo jokes in the Mr. Beast main telegram chat, but here you are. So you will not find one person. This is completely just uh, astroturfed, point, uh, astroturfed point by Rosanna. There's not one person who is defending pedo jokes or any kind of like the inappropriate behavior that Chris Tyson was putting in this chat. Uh, no one is defending that. What people are critiquing you on is your misreporting and cutting of context to make them look worse. Because unfortunately, that fucks up the entire case against Mr. Beast and you're helping him uh, make a better defense to defend himself. So realistically, it should be your own people who should be self-policing. Uh, but of course, if you have any pushback at all in the echo chamber, it makes you are automatically written off as a pedo defender to these people, because that's a way to instantly discredit them, uh, discredit us to their audience to not listen to them. Don't listen to those guys. They're defending a pedophile. Uh, side notes, I've heard from multiple sources that Keemstar is in business with Mr. Beast in an undisclosed partnership. Care to clear that up? Uh, uh, Keem. So these are the attached messages where 
actually, these are important context in the chronological order of things. So this is a decent rebuttal at the time, at least on the surface of it. We'll get into more later. But she replies saying, Mr. Beast Maine, this is now our company chat for Telegram of important people that need to share important, important messages. So this is a little bit weird. You have Chris Tyson saying in 2019 of June 20th, I created this chat for not safe work memes because the other people in the dumpster fire are the ones normies. But now this is a different chat message saying that this is a company chat. So we know the date on this one. We know that this is June 20th, 2019. What is the date on this chat message? That is something that is left out out of Rosanna's context. So it says this is now our company chat which as we're going to see later on, it ends up being that this was changed into a company chat. And a lot of the evidence that they were showing, which is like 99% of it with all of the incriminating uh, screenshots were a year prior from after they changed it into a company chat. So this would obviously be a huge problem if they were posting porn and like the, what potentially they thought would be a 13 year old naked child in the company chat, but they were doing this before in the not safe for work chat, which don't mistake that as saying that that's a defense. There's still like the main critique here of what the fuck is Chris Tyson posting all this crazy shit in any kind of chat. That is true. That's something that has been like lost in the context, or at least that Rosanna hasn't been picking up on. This is all just black and white to her that she thinks if any kind of pushback point, it has to be, you know, you're, you're either on my side or you're on the enemies. But the main critique here at the end of the day is still that Chris Tyson is a freak. That is true. That is what everybody can agree on. It's just the context in which how you frame the statement is what's important. And they've dishonestly framed it, which only hurts the case against him. So if you actually want to hold these people accountable, it's better to not do that. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, though, because in retrospect, this is all kind of a minor point in the grand scheme of things. Uh, even if it's a company chat... Yes, that does make the company and full business more liable. That is true. But like the main points are still valid that mis this does, does go to show, even if it wasn't a company chat, that Mr. Beast was seemingly aware, than more than he, uh, aware of more than he let on. And he was in these chats. He was engaging consistently in these chats as well. And Chris Tyson was posting all of this like completely inappropriate shit. That is still the main critique. Um, so just, I, I feel like that should be emphasized because people like Rosanna, I, I have not responded to anyone who has that position. It's just got to be completely on the opposite side. Um, what do you mean? So <clears throat> yeah, this is other chat messages that she's showing. Uh, for as much as you make the distinction, you also need to put equal energy in calling out Chris. So it doesn't look like defending. Yeah. And I think that's the one thing that potentially could be being that Rosanna is getting lost on, but I don't know. I feel like it's just still dishonestly framing it as people are sweeping. It's just like Cam Nuggets meme argument that people are sweeping for Chris Tyson where no one is fucking doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, so then they go on to show a bunch of chat messages of talking about work stuff where all of this is valid. They do talk about work stuff after the chat was turned into a work group chat. Dog Pack quote tweets this. He follows up with this uh a uh, screenshot of a different group chat. Funny enough, everybody beast group chat. So this isn't the main one. I don't know if the name was changed here, but uh, this isn't what this doesn't seem consistent. But everyone, we are switching over to Slack workspace. Please make sure you join. There will be a training at a later date. Please conduct all business communication on there. The only thing Telegram be, will be used for is day of the shoot slash video communication on shoots. Please transfer your groups over to Slack. So that is what's demonstrated and shown there where this is a good point until Nick gets further information. So Nick's getting fed lines or at least fed information from either Keemstar where Keemstar is getting information from Mr. Beast, I assume. And he's getting the full context, which is being omitted from Dogpack and Rosanna's point of view. Nick tweets out, the main tweet Rosanna is banking on is dated July 25th, 2021. This is notably after nearly every single screenshot she released in her coverage of the group chat across both X and YouTube. This is when the chat became Mr. Beast main and old members were replaced. This is the entire work chat. So yeah, you lied and doubled down and lied again. Uh, this was the group chat, 21 seconds. 
uh, this is all of it. All these people were removed that weren't employees. Um, Ava's now clarifying that this is now our company chat. And this is all the research that it took to like look through the entire company chat. And then at the end here, Mr. Beast is saying, don't, uh, don't message in a random group chat. It probably won't get answered. A DM Allie, I think it's her video. You can share it here after she responds, just trying to cut down the misinformation. And then this is just like, kind of just remains to be pretty dead. Um, what is going on in the chat right now? I look over to the chat and it says two me's are fighting. What is this? <laughs> Dude. Guys, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, he follows up by saying first, first scale, the three pictures you see are three of 2003 images or, uh, fucking first scale or messages. This chat was dead when it became a work chat lol, but that doesn't m make the headlines though. So all, of course, all the headlines are continuously, which this is important. If you look this up, uh, fucking Mr. Beast, I know Nick showed this in his stream as well. Uh, Mr. Beast work chat or whatever. You know what I mean? Like all of these are shown in the news. Uh, this is what's shown work chat. Disturbing telegram chats exposed mole over Mr. Beast reported to FBI. This is the top story. Mr. Beast reported to FBI over company chat logs. But they weren't company chat logs. That is just like that. That is important context that should be mentioned. Um, and it's just so weird why you would have to dishonestly frame this because you still have a core critique of Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson. You still can get the main point across without all of this like poisoning the well of more context that is completely unnecessary to make it look worse um so that's just the weirdest part but dog pack then sees this tweet by nick and he replies quote tweeting it backtracking from uh and he tries to catch nick on a point of hypocrisy backtracking from it is a at not safe for work meme chat and has been since its creation to it is a work chat but used to be a not safe for work meme chat so he's nickel and diming Nick on this one sentence because he has no other reply to any of the substantial arguments by saying the chat is literally a not safe for work meme chat and has been since its creation. Um, yeah, cool. You you probably can catch Nick on this like one minor detail, but this doesn't respond to any of the core arguments. Um why would Mr. Beast repurpose the not safe for work chat for work instead of just making a new chat that doesn't have references to underage porn in it? So we're just pivoting to a completely different other argument as well. So you are backtracking from your initial claim. You are backtracking from your statement. Uh, obviously, you know that there's a huge difference between the people were posting this inappropriate uh, shit in the group chat after it became a company work chat. Uh, this is a fine critique if you want to say this about Mr. Beast to say like, why not just make a new group chat or whatever? That probably would have been a, been a better thing for Mr. Beast to do. But you didn't start off the story with that. That wasn't your allegation. This is now you backtracking to an, and pivoting to a new point that you didn't use before. Um, Lyrics, pull up the tweet I sent you in Discord on DMs. Um, I probably got it pulled up, but um, I'll take a look at this. Um, no, I'm not... Uh, Smaggle, are you? You're gonna. You're retarded. You're getting banned. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck off. Uh, didn't they kick half the people? So continuing, didn't they kick half the people out and added people who are unable to see the old chats? Clearly, the source of the leaks was unable to see um the inappropriate chats. Um. Yeah, but that would mean that they were already in the chat before it was changed into a new company work chats. Um. So this is just I don't know, just more dishonest, dishonest framing. From dog pack just going to show he's got nothing in the tank anymore he's got no valid responses nick quote tweets him saying if 99 percent of what you showed was a full year before it was a work chat including every remotely damning screenshot you completely lost the plot and misframed the entire allegation so yeah also the video i posted is literally 20 seconds and you've already lied lol chris changed the chat not jimmy here is the message of jimmy literally telling people that the chat is dead and to keep work out of it um yeah this is it right here um, this guy thinks he's talking to a moron. So then he shows DMs of more conversations that he had with Dogpack. So after he posted this, uh, after he sent them this DM at yesterday, uh, 
11 a.m. This was before he was about to go on stream and reveal this information, I believe. Dogpack never responds until after Nick is off stream. Hours has gone by, and he then messages this to him at 10.55 p.m. Sorry for the late response. Mr. Beast just threw you in the front of the bus the same way they did Soggy. How confident are you in your claim that the chat is literally a not safe for work meme chat and has been since its creation? Do you know if the name of the chat ever changed? Mr. Beast main sure is a strange name for a not safe for work meme chat, isn't it? Dogpack, I posted the first message in the chat, LMFAO. I literally posted the creation of it. Um, <laughs> this is so funny trying to like lil bro Nick here and say like, hey, don't worry, Nick. Uh, I think... Mr. Beast has actually fooled you too. He's done this to multiple other people. I think you're just another victim of Mr. Beast. Why don't you come to the to the dark side? Why don't you come to the to the my side, buddy? <laughs> yeah, dude, it, this this clearly worked. Um, he responds and has been since his creation. You stand by that claim. Never became a work chat. So now he's pivoting to another point. Uh, do you know if the name of the chat ever changed? Wait, so let me get this straight. Uh, so you're arguing that you knew it was a meme chat and you made a video on all the stuff in the chat from them, but it was changed to Mr. Beast main at a later date and used for work stuff. Is that what you're walking me to? So yes, this is true. This is exactly what he's saying, but he purposely framed it in a way, uh, that made it seem like it was company chats the, for the entirety of it, despite knowing the context that all along, this was changed into a company chat before any of the inappropriate behavior was going on. Um, can you answer the simple questions I asked you? I reviewed every piece of the group chat I have access to currently, and I'm currently um, and I'm fairly comfortable with my position. Yeah, I'll happily post a retraction if you got evidence. This became a mandatory company work chat prior to all the stuff you included in the video, and can demonstrate Mr. Beast Main was conducting significant work outside of the occasional mention of something like a thumbnail, like the screenshot Cam Nuggets posted. Um, not clicking on that. So there's that. <laughs> what, is, what is this? I made it up. Yeah, just purposely hiding context. So after, so all this information, a lot of these tweets that we're seeing, this also came from Nick loading up stream last night at like fucking, what was it? Like 1 a.m., 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., depending on where you were. And he shows all this live on air. Um, he goes over the DMs. He goes over the work chat messages that we already saw. And in this stream, very weird thing was happening. Rosanna Pancino was up at this time, late, <laughs> late in the night. She popped into the stream and was going, I believe Bo Blacks would call this nutto. Uh, she consecutively posted, would post all of these chat messages talking about her feet pics being on Wikifeet, talking about Keemstar and calling him Daddy Keemstar. We want to see Daddy Keem. Let's summon Keem. My yeah, talking about more feet. Where's your master Keem? I wanted to see Keem Star. Where's your daddy Keem? We want daddy Keem. The chat is like, like consistently, constantly. There's so many messages of this. All of this was archived as well in this huge thread just to show the scale. These are all posts of chat messages of Rosanna Pansino crashing out in Nick's chat last night. Um, this is brutal stuff so just to like get the idea and read off of a few of these so chud tweets out rosanna pancino commented on her wiki feet page in a recent video put this comment in nicholas durer's live stream chat yesterday and even tweeted out about it last year with a screenshot of the website <laughs> so yeah this is the feet pics thing that we just read and uh what is this wiki feet loving my new video right now Bro, like, dude, I, I do not know what is happening with this woman. Uh, there's also this video. Where's your daddy Keem? We want daddy Keem. You want dude. this Keem star cock, all right? Dude. You want this Keem star cock, all right? Okay, dude, she wanted it. But reading off these to get in this idea, I want to take a look at these. Because as Nick was just streaming, going through all this information, she was unhingedly saying all this. So... I wanted to see your daddy Keem. Can you get Keem on? Dramalot responds, Rosanna, I have a lovely fiance. Please stop flirting. 
Did Keem give you permission to talk about this? Everyone, let's summon Keem. 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 Chanting. Satanic, demonic rituals in the chat is what she is conducting. We want Keem. 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 And some of you may be wondering, are, the, are some of these like repeated like screenshots? No. She was spamming. She was spamming these. Consecutively spamming the same message in a lot of cases. Um... When I say Keem, you say star, Keem, star, all caps. I, I don't know what's in the Mr. Beast water for people coming out with allegations, but these are like two consecutive, if you're counting dog pack, it's three consecutive meltdowns from everybody involved. Jake Weddle went fucking crazy having a meltdown on uh, Instagram just about a month ago or so. Uh, Rosanna Pancino is now completely crashing out. Dog packs losing it. For, uh, oh no, why am I even... Why did I almost give Dogpack good faith that he isn't having a breakdown? Dude, that guy posted fucking Salvo's video. Yeah, that guy's having a breakdown too. All these people are completely crumbling. Um, we want Keem, all caps. Uh, we want Keem. K-E-E-M. Keeps going. Adam McIntyre says, what's going on? Let's summon Keem, Rosanna says. Drama alert doesn't count. We want Keem. Thanks for the views, Diorio, which is what she says as Diorio is watching her video to point out how she misreported the situation. <laughs> These are comments that you get from like fucking a complete like Spurgs with 50 subs who make comments like, thanks for the view, buddy. Like you're like shitting on their video and they're like, thanks for the view. I appreciate the views. But she's a 14 million subscriber YouTuber and a 39 year old woman, man. Um, they are literally talking about work in the work chat. Um, watching grown men say a meme chat is that the safe place to post pedo memes with coworkers is wild. This is another thing you're going to see a lot. Um, pedo memes. For some reason, she's using the term pedo memes as a main argument where this almost like this actually downplays the claim she's trying to make here. Where, first of all, nobody is saying that it's a safe place to post whatever Chris Tyson was posting in the chat. Company chat or not still inappropriate for Chris Tyson to be doing that. But what the fuck is a pedo meme? Uh, this can refer to anything from like a Diddy joke to like an EDP cupcake joke. This just undermines the whole claim she's making, uh, which kind of makes it to the extent where it's incoherent. Uh, like, dude, if we're talking about pedo memes, pull up her fucking Zam, she's 12 thumbnail, where it says she's 13, plastering what they thought was CP on their channel, man, to 14 million people. That's what I would call a pedo meme if I've ever seen one. Um, she continues, uh, as far as I'm concerned, these pedo memes shared with Mr. Beast are fine because reasons. This is just what you'll consistently see being resorted to as well. Uh, just that we're pedo supporters. Nick supports pedophiles. Um, he actually enjoys and likes pedophiles. We're going to be soon seeing the zap die arguments coming on the horizon. Okay. And also, did you know about Nick Diorio? <laughs> She's going to be getting a call from Michael Alberto very soon. Did you know that Nick defended zap die who was 16 when he sexually was talking to this 20 year old? Very much soon. Collab of the fucking century. Technicals, Alberto and Rosanna. That's what we got going. Look for it on your feed. Um, Keem, log into your real account, not drama alerts. So many. I don't care about Mr. Beast. Your own chat logs say otherwise. Um, uh-oh, she says. Did you just draw attention to your own leaked work chats where you guys constantly attack women? <laughs> now we're getting into <laughs> the sexism arguments, the sexism allegations on this front. Um, uh-oh, he spooked about his own leaked group chats. Uh, she's just spurging. Uh, watching you get permission from Papa Keem on what you can say is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, what was that? that was, uh, Mr. Beast has lost 60% of his long form views in the last three months. Panic is setting in. Dude, she, dude, this person is unhinged. Can you throw a few more insults before you go? Uh... Keem, why'd you share a private convo? You promised you wouldn't. Sad face. Internet anarchist says call in. Yeah, everybody was saying call in. She, you know, luckily enough chose to not call in while she was severely wine drunk. 
and at least two bottles. Rosanna, if you want to call in, I will as well. That's what Keemstar says. Keem, I thought you were going to be on the stream. Sad face. Internet anarchist call in again. Rosanna, can you see me? I said I would call in if that you called in. Keem too scared to call in without me holding his hand. What? One of the most damning videos on Keem is any video on Keem. So this is in response to Nick saying on stream that how are you going to call me a, a fucking Keemstar Glazer or whatever uh, when I was featured in the content nuke? I, I, had, I, 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 I like started off my career with like the huge video that was even mentioned by H3 to go at um, Keemstar 4. So it's just like all of this criticism falls flat on its face. Um <clears throat> you can make as many sexist jokes as you want, Gooner. We are goon <laughs> Dude, Gooners. I only listen to Keem because Diorio only listens to Keem. Diorio the lapdog. Keem too scared to call in without me holding his hand again. Um, what is this? Did we already see that? Uh did I how long is this stream be going? Oh, these are just spammed messages again. Yeah. So taking a look at these going forward. Um Adam McIntyre says, I have nothing to call in about, just a bunch of people sending me this stream because apparently Rosanna and Nick were having a back and forth. That's what Adam says. Um, there's that $20 donation. I don't know why this is being included. Uh, what's a lol cow? Sounds like something easy to cook. What's up, fellow kids? How are we doing? Boo, I thought this was a professional stream. Isn't Keemstar like 73 years old? I, I, I mean... Are we, are we age boxing with Keemstar here? Like he's probably like five years, six years older than you. Uh, I, I don't think a 39 year old woman should be age boxing with like 46 year old Keem. Uh, she says, I'm bored. Dude, she's giving Diora the Z treatment in the chat. The worst kind, man. <laughs> yeah, Rosanna said Z. <laughs> Honestly, Keem would save this stream. Shitting on Nick um, right now. Uh, am I seriously going to have to teach you Premiere right now? Little broin. All right, everyone. Let's go heart is tweet ASAP. <laughs> oh no, it got messed up. Sad face. Uh, did everyone go and heart Keem's newest tweets? Ooh, woo. Okay, it's updated, fam. St streaming is hard. We all understand. <laughs> Bro, it's just... <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be super slick in the VOD Gooner game, fam. Nick, is this your first time streaming? This stream was a baner. You did such a good job, Nick. Wait, that was it? Boo, where's Keem? Is it past Keem's bedtime? Does that mean that you take back your apology to me from last year? Um, I would I would have taken my dementia pills, but I forgot. LMFAO, Adam McIntyre is saying something in the chat. Because Rosanna something. Thanks for getting one more insult in. Do you have any other insults be besides demonic and snake, or is that your full vocabulary? Bring out the dictionary on Nick of all people, okay? No, keep the Rosanna hate going. Let it flow through you. 32-bit uh, echo saying, Rosanna put the fries in the bag. She responds to random chatter. Your card was declined. Sorry. Have I mentioned this woman has 14 million subscribers and this is what she's resorting to in the chat, okay? Responding to zero followers. Rosanna, do you even have a husband? Turn around and go home. She replies to people asking if she has a husband saying, love some good old fashioned sexism. Literally no profiles she is responding to right now. That is That is what's happening. Uh, Keem said he would keep our convos private, then he shared them with you. Heartbroken. Cat absolutely loves me. It's wild. Um, she had just spent so much of their money to own me. Dude, she even stuck around for the portion where Nick was reading out donations. She was watching this entire stream, man. <laughs> the entirety of it. <laughs> Dude, everybody is like gone. Nick's just reading, like doing his outro. <laughs> She's still here. Hey, he called Jimmy a liar. Um, Jimbo not going to be happy when he hears this. Uh, wait, is that it? Oh yeah, I think that's, by the way, her only response when Nick was like responding to the point of, hey, no one's like sweeping for Mr. Beast. Like there's still things to critique Mr. Beast for. And after saying that, she completely is just stunlocked where she has no other points aside from saying that, oh dude, 
You know, you're going against your daddy. You're going against your master. How is he going to respond to this? She's just got nothing in the tank. Uh, wait, is that it? She says again. But wait, there's more. Um, we have Jimmy in the chat saying, guys, no more pedo memes. Isn't the gotcha that you think it is? Uh, <laughs> Augie comes in and says, what is a pedo meme, Rosanna? What is a pedo meme? She says, your stream is falling apart, man. Didn't expect Diorio's chat to love me so much. Thanks, Gooner Gain. Night, Gooner Gain. Keep gooning. I'm, I'm out of breath. Uh, dude. Um... What, what do you even say? Uh, this is just like an incomplete meltdown, dude. <laughs> this is just brutal. The pure mass of all of these chat messages going on from Rosanna. But it continues. It even continues. You thought responding to random chatters in the bed when they were asking if she had a husband, you thought that was bad? No, she got off air and they continued to hop in people's DMs to just talk shit. Uh, Samuel, who's just like a commentary guy, a thousand followers on Twitter. Um, he like DMs her and she responds 900 followers on 900 K followers on Twitter, by the way, he says cope harder, sir. At 6 AM, she responds with a kissy emoji. This spurg out needs to be studied. I'm learning. She replies with a gif of herself. X to doubt. Are you doing anything for Halloween? Yeah, and by the way, she is, dude, people are saying like she's taking one minute to respond. That's how soon she's responding. She's not even taking a minute, dude. She's responding in seconds of the Samuel guy. These are messages at the same minute, bro. Are you doing anything for Halloween, Samuel? Uh, are you okay? Just filmed the first episode of my podcast today. Played Edward 40 hands with my sister. How about you? Yeah, anybody wondering, does this woman have a husband? No, 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 no. This is the most single woman behavior. <laughs> Wine drunk on at least three bottles at this point in the night that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, watched a Jake, and then he responds, watched a Jake Weddle comedy show, proper scary stuff. Yeah, she's, dude, she's trying to get a husband in these times. She just responds within the minute saying, how was it? I went to one of his live shows in LA. Didn't know you were a supporter. I'm a huge Jake Weddle supporter. I have posters of him. That's awesome, man. Do you want to get matching Weddle tattoos? What? It's okay. Take your time. Bro, this guy, dude, <laughs> dude, this guy doesn't respond within a minute and she double texts. She double texts saying, you're not responding soon enough. It's okay. Take your time. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is unhinged, man. I have a, I have a feeling a Weddle tattoo would give me an infection, to be honest. Oh, that's too bad. I didn't know you had a weak immune system. Oh, scathing. Maybe we could do matching temporary tattoos. Start with something more simple. I mean, I'd rather you stop spurging out over this whole Mr. B situation than a temporary tattoo. All right. Well, I'm bored now. Let me know if you decide what you're doing for Halloween nights. What? I... I okay. No, most normal Rosanna interaction. Um, and she quote tweets this, thinking this makes her look good. And says, the Gooner gang just cannot keep up. Uh, dude, she, it's like she's trying to like giga chad this weird unhinged behavior of just going in like random people's DMs and just being uh, uh, uncomfortable is the most I could say. Uh, this is weird. This is just weird, man. So there was that. And then I think the last advancement to finish this off was a few hours before this stream was this angel faced peanut person tweets this out which this person is pretty unhinged um they dm'd me asking for something dude this person like consecutively sent me like 14 pages of my dms about my katie bugs coverage you know back in the fucking day uh actually months after i put out my video she's like sent me paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs um and i'm i was like okay i'm good i'm writing this person off completely 
Uh, so this is where I recognize this person from, but she tweets this out. Okay, so new question. If this chat wasn't a work chat used for work, then why did one of the members in this chat, Trey Yates, directly tell me otherwise in DMs? So this is Trey Yates. You might remember him from uh, an old video by that one guy. I can, I'm blanking on the name right now, but I know I made a video about his allegations that he was putting out um, a while ago, about like a month ago. It was this guy right here. Another Mr. Beast employee, ex-employee speaks out. He was on this... Uh, guy's channel. And he responds saying this. Hi, yes, it was a work chat. As evident by what Rosanna sent me last night, I could tell you that the people on the Mr. Beast team were never the brightest and sent messages between chats in and out that either pertains to work or pertain to memes. So this is already established and we already know this. This isn't new information. Um, yes, it became a work chat. That is true. The important context to know is that what was sent during the work chat and what was sent during it was in when it was a not safe work meme chat. That is where the discourse is at at the moment. And it seems like from what Nick showed on the assumption that Nick didn't completely fake those DMs and that's a correct screen recording. There wasn't any inappropriate behavior after it became a company work chat. And after they kicked out all the other people from the meme chat and only had the employees in there. So, um, yeah, I, um, this goes, he goes on to say memes were sent on other work chats. Work requests were sent in meme chats because Jimmy doesn't think things through. He would send messages to whichever group chat he saw first. Also, he and I were never friends. I was hired to work for him as an employee. So if I was in those chats, what was the point of me being in there? This is a weird point. So he's saying, um, well, me personally, I was never friends of Mr. Beast. So if this wasn't a work chat, then how was I in this not safe work meme chat? Good argument, dude. Okay. Um, this more comes across and this goes back into the history of this guy where this is not, um, I, I don't say this lightly. This does not come across as a mentally stable person. And you can look like back this, this whole thing last. You can look back into the context of this video right here. Um, but for his whole argument to hinge on the fact that well, I wasn't really that close to these people, so it wouldn't make sense why I would be in the meme chat when there is DM messages of them joking around, having a good laugh of each other that already exists. So all this comes across is that he's now mad at Mr. Beast because he ended up getting fired from the company. He's a disgruntled ex-employee that wants to like rewrite history. That's what more this comes across to me. I could be wrong and I'll be open to see anything otherwise, um, but... This alone does not discredit the screen recording proof that Nick put out. Every single person in those chats were beast employees at the time as well. If you were if you were fired or left, suddenly you don't message those chats anymore. Strange how that works. Additionally, via Jimmy's own words, everything he does is work. He straight up said that on Colin and Samir's podcast. So yes, that was work. Um, so Nick replies in the comment section to this saying, this guy did public interviews about the group chat and specifically mentioned early 2020 as demonstrated. This was a full year before the chat became a dedicated work chat and renamed to Mr. Beast Main. All these messages from this exact point in time are already public. Rosanna leaked February May to May 2020. Feel free, feel free to parse through them and judge for yourself if you think this was an official company chat. Um, so yeah, that, that this is just the timeline is what is important here to respond to. Nick also quotes tweets saying, I mean, yeah, good for Trey Yates, lol. The numerous screenshots we have of the chat just don't align with what he's saying. I understand you guys, Dogpack and Roseanne, are crashing out because people can see that you've widely, uh, wildly manipulated context, but dude, trust me, bro, just isn't saving you. And so far, there has been no response from Dogpack and Rosanna. Dogpack's last word on this was retweeting Angel Face's peanut that does not prove anything. So to go, this just goes to show that Dogpack has got nothing left in the tank. He's got no responses. He's got no arguments left to the extent where he's been, uh, he's now resorted to retweeting these people with non-points. He's got nothing left. Uh, Rosanna has just, I guess, moved on and started posting about fucking Halloween. What's everyone up to for Halloween this year? Dude, Samuel, you should reply down, dude. Maybe... <laughs> Take up her offer. Uh, I'm going trick-or-treating with my little nephews, eating some yummy candy and watching the new alien movie of Friends. Dude, cool stuff. So yeah, 
Um, there was that quote tweet. I already went over that. And lastly, I think this is her last tweet on the topic. Um, breaking drama alert once again it makes excuses for pedo memes in a Mr. Beast group chat full of employees. No one is. It, it's just. It, it's just like negative. It's it, it's negative IQ arguments here. Uh, no one is making excuses for pedo memes for whatever the fuck pedo memes are. But no one's sweeping or making excuses for Chris Tyson. Um, in a mis- two things can coexist at the same time. Two things can be a problem. In a Mr. Beast group chat full of his employees, former employees in the chat also agree it was a work chat. Please stop defending pedo memes that Jimmy knew about. It's two things can coexist. Uh, John Alert has appropriately reported on both sides of this, and now you're just ass pained because they reported on your misreporting. Um, that's all. So, holy shit. There it is right there. That is the recent update and meltdown of Rosanna and Dogpack on Twitter and how they lied about the commentary community and misframed all of the evidence. Or at least misframed this story here. Boom. Segment done.